time now at 623 in today's highlight on health. This year, about 20% of all adults will catch the flu. But there are some things you can do right now to reduce your risk. Dr. Celeste Reese with American Family Care joins us now to explain. I tell you what, I get sick more from A, my kids, and B, my coworkers. Yes. Is it just like, what is it about the workplace that makes people so successful, successful can't even say the word, to the <laughs> flu? Um, well, a lot of things happen in terms of being in the workplace from there are a lot of germs. You'd be amazed at the number of germs. There are actually 400 times more germs on women's makeup cases, pins, uh -huh. etc., than you even find on a toilet seat. Yeah, you said you there are some that. hot spots for mm -hmm. like a man's wallet. Correct. And other areas, especially of the workplace, like pens. I share pens with my coworkers all the yes. time. That's not a good thing, right? <laughs> no. Part of um, what American Family Care has done this year as a part of the national campaign to help fight the flu has come up with a, f a fight the office flu kit, and it's something we actually enact in all of our clinics, and it includes some of the things that you see here that are very, very important. Um, Let's talk about them. Okay. Uh, the first would be hand sanitizer. That's something that um, is alcohol-based that can help get rid of plenty of germs. And you'd be amazed at how many times people carry germs on their hands. The use uh, people having uh, wipes at their area so that as they need to, they can wipe their hands, wipe off surfaces. We use a Clorox 2% uh, hydrogen peroxide spray that's in, we have plenty of bottles of this in our clinics. We use paper towels because a lot of times when you have sponges or cloths, a lot of times they carry bacteria from the last time you use them to wipe up. And the most secret place that germs try to hide that people don't think about is pins. You know, part of the prevention of spreading the flu with our Fight the Office flu kit is having pins galore because people use pins, people share pins, and therefore they share germs. And a lot of times people have very mild symptoms of congestion and a little bit of a headache, and they actually can have the flu. A lot of times they present with mild cases and not with the standard, oh, I've got a fever, I feel run down by a truck. Everyone doesn't present with those strong symptoms of the flu. So. Yeah, and a lot of times you can be walking around with the flu in mm -hmm. the office and not realize yes. it. Yes, you can. Now, you did say the flu vaccine this year is better than previous years. What do you mean by that? Well, in the last 14 years um, that I've been practicing, and certainly our chief medical officer, Dr. Harnett, has seen that the, we're seeing less cases of the flu with people that have received the vaccine. Uh, we actually started seeing the, the flu as early as August and we've seen a downtrend in it and part of that reason is that there are a lot of people that are going ahead and getting the vaccine this year. The vaccine this year is a very good vaccine. They took um, the three most dominant strains and put it together to make the flu vaccine. So we've seen less cases of the flu in people that have gotten the vaccine and as the CDC recommends, I always say, Everyone that's six months or older, healthy or not, needs to get the flu vaccine. And as a part of that effort this week, uh, American Family Care is offering the flu vaccine in all of our clinics at little to no cost. So, Awesome. Well, yeah. thank you, doctor, for being here this morning and sharing these helpful <laughs> items that could prevent you from catching the flu. If you want more information or other health news, just go to our website, WIET.com.